uh, up and coming beat maker, man, just want to do it. Like, man, get them some advice right now. Like, you can give them, you know, because you done built the game, ups and downs, and know everything in the game. What would you give advice to the up and coming beat maker, man? That's a great question. First, learn the business. Mm -hmm. Second of all, be different from everybody else. Because mm. everybody got one of them tight YouTube beats, and everybody sound the same. Have your own sound. There's a difference. It's a reason why Pharrell and Timberland and Kanye and Dr. Dre probably premiered too, like four or five like hottest or legendary producers for like 30 years, or 20, 20 or 30 years. They got their own sound. A lot of these producers, they, you can hear and you can recreate. But to be original is totally different because you got to have your own sound to distinguish yourself from the next guy. Mm. You got 14 years old can do the same fucking thing. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But to be had longevity in this game, you got to be different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to, uh, I would start off making my own sounds, coming up with my own tag, you know, just being different. Everything mm -hmm. got to be hood shit. You can make some R&B shit or some out the wall, mm -hmm. outcast shit mm -hmm. that somebody might like. Put your own little twist to it. It's one thing being inspired by somebody. All right, put that in your mental. Mm -hmm. Now make your own little twist to it. Same mm -hmm. thing Kobe had to do. Yeah, Jordan. He learned from Jordan. He sure. learned from all these guys. Jordan had to do the same thing, but he put mm -hmm. their own twist to it. You know what I'm saying? So that's all it is at the end of the day. Learn mm -hmm. from your peers and the people that came before you and respect the people that came before you too. Mm -hmm. And just put your own twist to it. Be original and, uh, and get that business right.